All's fair in love and war, right? And in business too. It might come as a surprise to you, but entrepreneurs can actually learn a lot about business from war. I know, it sounds crazy, but I've learned many business lessons from a Chinese text written 2000 years ago. I'm talking about The Art of War, written by Sun Tzu. You might be wondering what an ancient text written in the Far East can tell me about running 21st century tech and property companies right here in the UK. Well, today's Ask Shaf is going to look at one lesson we can learn. Before I go into the art of war, can I tell you about the art of subscribing? It just involves hitting the subscribe button and notification bell on my YouTube channel. This would be a major victory for me as it would mean my videos will appear in more searches and you'll be notified of my content the moment it goes live. Back to today's Ask Shaf. The Art of War is a guide to military strategy, but entrepreneurs love it too because many of the tips can be used in the business world. In business, just like in war, you need to have a plan, tactics and a strategy in place for success. Let's focus on one lesson today and I will show you how I applied it from the Art of War to the Art of Business. Sun Tzu wrote, Supreme excellence is winning without fighting. The best of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact, to shatter and destroy it is not so good. So too, it's better to recapture an army entire than to destroy it. Su says winning every battle is excellent, but it's even better to win a battle without having to fight at all. Fighting is a last resort. It's far better to win without bloodshed, or in the case of business, without commerce carnage. Let me give you an example of when I applied this logic to my business. We have to go back in time to the credit crunch of 2010. My company, SRA Ventures, was struggling to let the units at our Enet Park Industrial Estate in Lillithgow. In fact, we only had 20% occupancy rates. We'd been trying to attract tenants for months, but nothing was shifting. Not only that, we were competing with rivals who were battling the same problems. What a nightmare. I was advised to drop rents to get tenants in, but my gut was telling me not to do that. If I had, my competitors would have done exactly the same, putting me back at square one. Embroiled in a war of attrition and having to deal with a market that I had destroyed because of the price drop. Don't forget, commercial leases can run for 25 years, so the investment value would have been potentially eroded for decades. Like Sue said, I had to win the battle for tenants without fighting. I had to think outside the box and then the inspiration came to me. What businesses were doing well in these difficult times? eBay businesses. They had few overheads, they were selling discount goods to savvy shoppers who trusted the eBay name. But part of their success was they had low overheads because they weren't paying rent because most of them were working from home. But as their businesses were becoming more successful, the eBayers houses were taken over with a mountain of boxes. And the eBayers were spending more time at the post office than in their own home sorting out packages. My eBay village dealt with both of these problems. That's right, I rebranded Enet Park as the first eBay village in the UK. I did a deal with a courier company for reduced carrier charges. The deal was so good and it saved these eBayers so much in postage that it offset the rent that they paid to rent a unit in our eBay village. They were getting a top quality industrial unit for free and instead of spending hours and weeks in the post office queue, they had more time to build up their businesses. And from my point of view, I had succeeded in getting tenants. Just a few weeks later, occupancy was up to 80%. So Sun Tzu's art of war can be applied to business by thinking outside the box. I was battle ready, but didn't need to fight. I won the battle without bloodshed and everybody got a great deal. Don't miss next week's Ash Shaf for more examples of fighting talk.